Ghost of Tabor can be a thrilling experience. Action-packed raids full of kitted players sending adrenaline through your veins like few other video games can. But it can also be extremely brutal and demoralizing if you make the wrong choices. Hey guys, Zyrid here and welcome to Ghost of Tabor. If you're new here, I do guides and gameplay on VR shooters and in this video I'm discussing 5 beginner mistakes to avoid to make sure you're having the best time in Ghost of Tabor. And even if you consider yourself a Tabor veteran, there might be something for you here. Grab your favorite drink, sit back and listen up. Since your number one priority is to survive raids, you need to know where to go. Mistake number one, trying to learn all the maps at the same time. This will take a lot of time and you'll end up dying a lot. If you're just starting out, just pick one or two maps that draw to you and learn those. The maps currently in the game are Island. This is the most diverse map, offering CQC and mid to long range fights, lots of loot to be found and in my opinion, the best map of the four. There's Missile Silo, a very small map, close quarters, perfect for naked runs to find a couple guns and extract. Matka Miest, a street map with multiple hotspots attracting kitted players. There's lots of Fenixes and they are ruthless, making it difficult to run where you're not running any armor. And Matka Underground, metro stations and an old bunker, it's just like Matka Miest, very punishing when you're not running any armor since the Fenixes are monsters down there. Once you can comfortably run a raid and you know where you're going, choose the next map. For the sake of the video, we'll choose Island to learn first. Mistake number two, not using an interactive map on the wiki. You've chosen the map you want to learn, open the interactive map on the wiki, it's linked below, and run a couple training raids. This really helped me out when I first started out. Map knowledge is such a massive thing in a game like this, you cannot ignore it. Using the interactive map will really speed up the learning process and you'll have a much better time in the video game, knowing your way around. Figure out where the player spawns are, the high loot locations, the fennec spawns, memorize those where they spawn so when you're going to that area you know where to expect the fennec. And then the extracts. Learn where the extracts are and which ones are open depending on where you spawned. Mistake number three, lingering around spawn, high loot locations or high traffic areas. Get in and get out quickly. Good players will push spawns to get player kills in the first couple minutes. Push away from your spawn as soon as you can and watch out for the spawns near you. Learn the spawns so you know where to expect other players and you'll start dying less and killing more. And don't linger in high loot areas or high traffic areas, meaning where you find good loot or where there's lots of player activity. The longer you stay in those locations, the bigger the chance that you'll be caught by another player. If you enjoyed the video so far, leave a like and sub if you want. It helps the channel out a ton and you won't miss out on any future videos. Members get early access to my videos, so if that's something you want, check out that join button below. If you want to catch me live, I stream on Twitch. Link in the description. Mistake number four, slow looting. This goes both for high loot locations, but especially for player kills. If you killed one or more players, don't push the body immediately because someone might have heard the shots and is coming to have a look. When the coast is clear though, loot the body and move on. Learn to transfer a bag or strip a weapon quickly. It's better to leave some loot and survive than to spend 15 minutes with your eyes glued to the backpack only to be tapped in the head like the loot goblin you are. Mistake number five, running to the wrong extract. This may sound stupid and it is, but it happens to the best of us. Your wristwatch has a compass pointing you to the extract. However, it doesn't point in the exact right direction and I think it's a bit off. It's much easier to have the compass turned on on your HUD and by default it's in the middle of the screen. By using screen calibration, you can raise it out of the way. Select the headset that you're using, then click custom and raise it to your desired number. Extracts will show up with their names as soon as they open up. If you want to learn more about Ghost of Tabor, watch my other guide videos where I explain how to make money, how to survive more raids, how to level your traders efficiently and much more. And with that, I will see you guys on the next video.